My name is Brianna Strunz. I'm a sophomore at Duchenne. I have feelings now! And my poem is Idolized, and this might be a, like, just trigger warning. Okay. <sighs> Taller, thinner, longer, smaller. You should be better, you should be stronger. We've heard this too often. Magazines, newspapers, billboards, eyes are hardly batted, throwing toast like it was a commemoration of youth and success to the girl who has more scars than friends with voices in her head and locked behind ribcage bars. To the girl who shrunk to her 80s and still sucks in her stomach wondering if her thighs are too close, is her backbone extended? Playing these games for commercials and money, for another man's pleasure, for a magazine's cover, for half a heart, for the world to know that I want to be that girl. She never knew the cost to earning. She never knew she was slowly dying or that her vitals were skipping from sitting to standing or fighting each morning to just keep breathing, weak heart still beating, soul still grieving, faith in herself still unbelieving, burning her in the flames that she started. She wasn't born this way. She never knew that idolizing the half-naked gods that star on TV would lead to her self-demise and trusting one less meal won't imperil my health. But she crashed and passed out, woke up in a hospital like a robot with more machines and organs, IVs and tubes practically her anatomy. All from too many bloodshot-eyed nights, bowing like a sinner to a toilet, heaving up contents as if she could throw herself away, but she's intoxicated with what stole her. So now, darling, oh darling, don't forget to tear off your red band. Squeeze into a cramped dress that highlights and pops every bone of your body. Lace up your heels and off with a flick, a full wig of hair once lost. Don't crash, don't pass out, you're fine, you're fine. Ignore your heartbeat that rattles your whole body back and forth, back and forth. Counting down calories from 400, 300, 200, 100, zero. Next dead, you're fine, you're fine. She wasn't born this way, then started finding hope in her self-demise, praying to the gods she never should have believed in, the light would shine through her thighs, and her shoulder blade wings would fly her away from the world that shredded her to nothing, because what only her bathroom walls know is that she's out of her mind, drinking water like it's the only thing needed to survive, just store the one thing she's had a taste of. But she's not sorry for what she's done because she gave a match to Anna. Now, darling, don't forget to steady that possessed hand of yours to blow a kiss to the candle lit beside your bathroom mirror to fade away to shadows, blinding her already blurred vision, tears raining from her sunken eyes and falling from her hollow cheeks, down her bones like petals falling from a dying rose, sunrise pouring through her gaps, but it's never enough. Dry lips and purple fingertips, hair falling out beside her mind from her head, still destroying herself in hopes of reaching a body and peace of mind she never got. Still hates the world, hates herself, hates the way you stare, hates the way she numbs upon standing, hates the applause for the show. So now instead of bones, she wants to see headstones because sometimes it's just too painful not to pretend. <laughs>